When it comes to site structure, every page in blocks project is made of blocks or sections. And you can stack them on top of each other using this block bar. And these are the included blocks which you can add to your page to create the layout you want. So let me add a couple of blocks and I will be adding the navigation to the global header area which is above the blue line here. And below the second blue line I will be adding the footer and this is the footer global area. These areas are the same on all pages. And the area between these two blue lines is a dynamic area and this one will be different for all pages. So I will add some future block here and if we switch to the canvas fill we will be able to see it a little bit better. Now let's add a structure block which is the simple block with rows and columns inside. And if we take a look at the layer tree, you can see that we now have blocks. And if we disable the solo mode here, you can see that we have multiple blocks stacked on top of each other. We have the container, which is a locked element and you cannot change it. It plays a role of a placeholder. And we have the rows. Inside this row, we have all of this content, which is located inside columns. So there are two columns. One is this image and the second one, this one has all of the content inside. So H2, heading 2, heading 3, paragraph and button. We can select them using the canvas or we can select them using the layer tree. And when we click on the empty column, we can bring up this brick bar which will show us all of the bricks we have installed in our blocks application and these are default bricks but you can also install the third-party bricks as well so by clicking on any of them we can add them for example here we have heading 3 in paragraph and next to this we can also add let's say image or round image in the first column on the left as you can see, I can slide this, minimize this sidebar to make room for the content. So let's say that we want to add something else. So let's open the brick bar and add something like follow links, for example, for social links. And we can also add a button or something like that. As you can see now in the sidebar, we have this column, this is heading three, paragraph, button and follow links. And we can drag and drop these elements directly on our canvas. In blocks for Mac, we can also drag and drop in the layer tree, but for now it's not very easy to do or maybe not possible at all in blocks for iPad in the current version. But we can use quick edit tool to move elements around like that. When it comes to text, we can enter the writer mode to type the text. And to exit the writer mode, just click on the close button. Let's add some other block. Maybe this gallery block. And again, using the layer tree, you can see that we have rows, these columns inside. And each of these columns has image header and paragraph. You can customize the pre-built blocks in any way you want. You can delete elements, you can duplicate elements, move them around using the quick edit tool, for example, or drag and drop. And if you want to add something, you can always use the brick bar to add. For example, let's add a button. For example, let's say I want to copy it so I can duplicate it and drag and drop like that. Or I can copy this button using Command C or the contextual menu and paste it, for example, here using Command V. And I can do that many, many times, copying and pasting the same element to anywhere on our working canvas. The built in sections or blocks are very useful and you can build pretty much any design you want. But if you want to extend the library of custom blocks, I highly recommend to check my latest project, which is blockslibrary.com. 
and minimalist blocks library is the greatest collection of high quality sections for example headers here as you can see you can preview all of them on blocksmaster.com or blockslibrary.com and if you are a blocksmaster member you can access more than thousand of pre-built sections like this completely free by logging in into your blocksmaster account